Welcome back to the Pop 'em Don't Watch 'em Whiskey YouTube Show. Something a little different here today as we are highlighting an up and coming, fast growing industry, the non alcoholic beverage and spirit industry. Guys, if you don't believe me, I will blow you away with some numbers I'm going to give you here today. This industry is growing, and one of the big players in the game, Spiritless, is who we are going to review today. They made a non-alcoholic bourbon alternative. It is distilled. So let's get that out, out the way. It is distilled. We'll get into the process. But first, let's learn a little bit about the company, who is Spiritless. So Spiritless was created by three bourbon-loving entrepreneurial women. First off, Lauren Chitwood, she is the CEO, Abby Ferguson, the CRO, and Lexi Larson, the COO. They wanted to create something for that, you know, on the go, hardworking, just everyday person that they just don't want to get the side effects of maybe a heavy alcoholic beverage. They still want to be part of the party, life of the party, but they don't want those after effects of the party. You may not have a big meeting the next day. They might have a big presentation the next day. You're a mom on the go. You have to always be mind 100% with the kids. This is what this was created. Now, of course, being a non-alcoholic beverage, there's the obvious demographic this could definitely help out, but this was made for just that hardworking, everyday individual, always on the run. This is what it's for, a non-alcoholic beverage. I mean, look, if you think about it, I can't think of anything else out there really that does this. Um, I'm going to tell you what industry, in my opinion, I think not only industry, but people, this would be huge in for the fitness industry, especially. I used to be big in the bodybuilding. When you're in bodybuilding or fitness, you do not put an ounce of alcohol in your body. And let me tell you something, it gets boring. You're at parties, you're at get-togethers, everybody's drinking, everybody's having a good time. And let me tell you something, it's tough, especially if you compete. My wife, she competed. And let me tell you something, when you're on those competition diets, it's very strict. This would fill that void perfectly in that industry. You're on a strict diet, you don't take in, intake any alcohol, and still want to, like I said, you still want to be a part of the party. You, know, you don't want to be that bump in a log that, oh, I can't drink. I can't have a cocktail with spiritless. Now you can. And guys, this, I'm telling you, you might think this is crazy, but this industry is growing. Let me give you some numbers. In 2019, the alcohol, non-alcohol beverage industry did $291 million in revenue. Two years later, in 2021, they did $3.1 billion in revenues. Guys, health consciousness is becoming important, especially after um, what we went through in the last two years. People are looking, at, looking after their health. You know, alcohol, you know, this is perfect. If Let's say you're going out for a party after work or having a few drinks. You can have maybe one drink and then go to this or start with this, then move to maybe one drink. You can also cut your drinks in half with the cocktails. I have the Kentucky 74. This is their bourbon alternative. They're also coming out with a tequila alternative for all you tequila drinkers. That is also coming. So how is it made? Because I know a lot of people think this stuff is just flavored syrup. It, it, it's not. This is actually distilled. So what they do is they take American oak and high proof neutral grain spirit. They put it in a still and under heat, heat, heavy heat and pressure, that marriage of that wood and that distillate come together. They cool it down and use reverse distillation to separate the ethanol. Then from that distillate, they put it in a totes and then they use that to blend the product. So yes, it is actually distilled, but they use reverse Distillation to take the alcohol out. It's scientific, a little, a little too much science for me, but that is how it's done. Also, the company, being women, being entrepreneurs, they also support a thing called 2% for the girls. So 
2% of their sales go to nonprofits. You know, they support entrepreneurism, mentorships, leadership for the development of young women in America. We all know that's important. And look at these three. Started out in Louisville, now the company's in Texas, and this business is definitely growing. So, all of that said, their slogan, less is yes. Well, we're going to find out because it has to still taste good. Now, this was sent to me to do a review, but guys, you know my channel, you know me. I'm going to give you a straight review. There is going to be, you know, no, no... If, ands, buts about it, I'm going to give it to you straight. Before I do that real quick, this came with a great handbook, a great book of recipes, but there was a quote that stuck out, and I want to read it directly from the book. So this is from Lauren, Abby, and Lexi. I want to read it straight from here so I don't mess it up. Spiritless is the tool in our toolkit that enables us to be the best we can, no matter the occasion, without going over the top. It allows us space to celebrate the good days and mourn the bad days and every day in between and at any time of the day. Great quote right there. Love that one. That one really stuck out to me, so I wanted to read that. And let, that lets you know exactly what this company is about. So, I have not tried it. Doing it live, right here, first time. So, I'm going to do it neat. Now, this is made for cocktails. But being the bourbon and whiskey drinker I am, I have to try it neat. Got to. Got to try it neat. So get a little pour. So, I mean, it actually has some color on it. You know, it, it was in in that dis, um, in the dis, um, in the still with that wood. So the nose. It, it actually does have some bourbon notes to it. It's very interesting. Lots of dark fruit. You do smell, you know, the neutral grain spirit a little bit. It's, it's well, of course, it's young. You know, it's not really aged. But it actually has a pleasant nose. It smells like a really young craft bourbon almost. To Lauren, Abby, and Lexi, cheers. So, now this was not made to drink neat. So it's so funny because you, you're expecting that alcohol burn, the alcohol push. That's obviously not there. But it does have some flavor. I'm not going to lie. It does have some flavor. And, of course, it's, it's watery. It's not, um, it's not viscous on the palate. You don't expect it to be. That's not what it's made for. But it does have some bourbon flavors. Very interesting. Very very interesting. I've never tasted anything like that. Um, you just, it's weird because on the nose, on the palate, you expect that alcohol burn, but there's nothing there. But it does have some bourbon flavors, dark fruits, vanillas, caramels. They're definitely there. I can see how this could be a good bourbon. You know, if you want to half it, maybe, if you, you know, if you're drinking your bourbon straight, you want to half it, or if you want to make a cocktail, which we are getting ready to do right now. So for the first time ever on the Pop and Don't Watch Them show, I'm going to make a cocktail. So they sent the ingredients to make their Spiritless Brown Derby. So what that is is two ounces of the Spiritless Kentucky 74, four ounces of the Q-Mixer Sparkling Grapefruit, and a half ounce of the Honey Syrup. Let me get my glass with my ice. All right. So, we're going to do two ounces. This is a one ounce jigger. So, two ounces of the Kentucky Spiritless. One, two. Then, four ounces of the sparkling grapefruit. One. I don't think this glass is going to be big enough. Oh, yeah, it's good. All right, and then a half ounce of the honey syrup. Oh, this is thick. 
All right, let's give it a mix. All right, once again, cheers. That's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. So, of course it doesn't have, you know, the alcohol burn, but I really think if maybe you added some like spicy bitters or something like that to it, but I'm being 100% honest here, that this is a good cocktail. I think if you wanted to half it, half the Kentucky 74 with half of a bourbon, this would be a really, really good cocktail to take your time, less is yes, and be a part of the party. I, I, I really do. I think this is a really good cocktail. Very refreshing, too. I mean, summertime, hot outside. I can't stop drinking it. Very refreshing. So... Guys, if you think this sounds like something up your alley, it's not just for women, but pregnant, wife's pregnant, you have a party, you're drinking your whiskey, you want it to still be a part of the party, perfect drink for it. But like I said, many demographics are obvious with this will work for, but that's not really what the company's shooting for. It's, it's, it's for everybody. Everybody just, just doesn't want to have that the side effects of a late night drinking alcohol. We're getting old now. Can't do it like we used to. So, but that is it. Spiritless. Get in contact with your local store. Our state rep, Adam Fayard. I will leave his email in the description. If you're in the state of Louisiana, you want to look into getting these products into your store, contact him. He is the Louisiana state rep. And once again, guys, if it's a bourbon, if it's got alcohol, if it doesn't have alcohol, pop them. Don't watch them.